Ashley, and uh, this is my mentee, Xiao. And when we originally started to think about um, the pieces that we wanted to write for this, um, we, wanted, we decided to write about the season winter. But as we wrote, what ended up emerging was a much richer theme, which was um, just based on our experiences as teens and um, of teenagers taking risks, both good and bad. The dance. The night I perfected what people call the dance, the movement that has been called both an Olympic sport for its sweaty intensity and an Irish jig for all its little kicks, the way my body moves and the smile that accompanies it, somehow earning me the title, in the words of one blazer for baggy panted acquaintance of mine, of dancing rainbow goddess. That night, the night that my hands found the music, the head of my beautifully sweaty and heavily exhausted boyfriend, who I fell in love with the first time I saw him, he was dancing, of course, lay in my lap, and for the first time, my hands wanted to move. I was sitting, rare for me, a girl who determined the night's success by the amount of sweat released by sunrise. As I sat, I crossed like a dirty heap in the stuffy Black Burgers for Sure second floor of a rundown hotel. The ears inside my hands opened. They left from the beat they were drumming on now gray, once khaki pants to answer the call of the beats erupting from the speakers. As these new instruments started to bloom, I took a deep breath and trembled as the sweat, the beats, the dust from the rafters, the wafting cigarette smoke from the tough-lipped 15-year-olds in the corner, and the night's now early, early morning's energy filled my lungs. Thank you. 